share one more thing before I get down, and that is about man anger. Um, I also, before I started looking at my emotions or started on this path, didn't think that I was very angry with men. And I meet a lot of uh, women who don't think they're very angry with men, but um, just about 90% of those women I can feel are very angry with men because I'm starting to work through that emotion myself. And I think a lot of women on the planet today, we've, we've, there's been a lot of multi-generational hurt. Um, and so we sort of have this attitude that, well, I'm a woman and my needs should be met, really. And if they're not, well, it's a man's problem. And that's actually a very angry attitude. Um, because we're so afraid of being hurt again, we actually become quite aggressive. Um, I had more I wanted to say about that, but I guess that's it. You were going to write an email about that to post that maybe yeah. at some point. Yeah. When I finish with the emotion. Can you give some more examples of like I need space and that those little triggers that we might be able to watch out for? I think that was a really helpful one for me personally. Yeah. So you're looking for the kind of things Mary has that noticed he, herself doing that, any of that are covering over the over. anger. Yeah. 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 Just any little irritation in the day where you, you know, um, Think of just like uh, AJ doesn't do something that I want really. Like he doesn't. He always makes my cup of tea in the morning, and he doesn't make my cup of tea. So it's an irritation, or just it's something that I would usually go. Oh, I'll make my own cup of tea, but it's skipping over this little feeling inside of me. Um, One time at an airport, um, I didn't carry her heavy bag. And I That's so did. embarrassing, because I am such a liberated woman. Why would someone need to carry my bag? <laughs> but he did it every other time, and he stopped that time. <laughs> I did it while we were travelling, and then this one time I didn't do it. And yeah, that triggered a lot of anger from Mary. <laughs> and there's been little things even, like, uh, that I've noticed Mary doing as well. Um, things like trying to change the subject mm. is a big thing. We're, or trying to intellectualise the subject uh, is another big thing. Um, Just justify my stance on anything. Yeah. So, for instance, so shortly after myself and Mary met, um, we went shopping together for some it's food. We've told the story before. But Mary was very, very angry because I was going to buy some basil from Israel. And, um, and she felt really, really upset with me about that issue. And underneath that was a huge number of emotions for Mary about a lot first, of grief, yeah. first century life. Uh, that still is, is still working through now, isn't it? Like, so just that one act of being upset with me doing something that she wouldn't normally do. Yeah. Um, I guess control. Like whenever I feel like I need to be in control more, it's usually, yeah. And she'll often not state to me what she wants me to do. She'll often ask me the question. But it's an implied thing that she wants me to do. Like, does that make sense? And so uh, many of you women I've noticed do exactly the same thing. And uh, where you ask the other person a question, but really what you're saying is, I want you to do that, please. Right? And that happens quite often. And instead of coming out and saying, I want you to do that for me, and then having to get rejected of no, <laughs> we often go down this track of, uh, of saying, oh, would you like that instead? You know? And I find nowadays, um, and I said this to the group in the car, I think it was on the way here today, nowadays I'm finding that there is lots and lots of layers of emotion under our, uh, that are over the top of our true feelings. And, uh, and what Mary and I have found is by by staying in the interaction with each other, we stay in that emotion until we find the bottom of the feeling. It's very powerful if every person is owning their emotion and not project, like not blaming. We like the pillowcase thing. We really got very deep very quickly. And mm. um, I just thought of another example that just passed my mind. This one. Um, anyway, it'll come to me, I'm sure. But where where we often we often find these little tiny events uh, blow up into these huge emotions. Not that they blow up in the sense of me and Mary arguing with each other, but they blow up in the sense of me getting into a major causal emotion and crying for quite a few hours, or Mary doing that. 
Um, and just if you choose to own your emotion in these transactions, you'll find you'll rapidly work through issues when you're with a partner. Um, because remember, the law of attraction has brought you and your partner, if you have one, together. So therefore, the law of attraction is there to expose these emotions. If you deny the law of attraction and say, well, you're not doing what I want or, she's, or I'm not doing what you want, and we walk away from each other, then we get away from what's actually drawing us together in the first place, and we're not dealing with those emotions. So let yourself access the emotions that are underneath. And that's going to mean working through layers of anger. So in a partnership or a relationship, you'll find that there will be issues between each other as a result. So my issue, for example, is that I have a lot of issues, and I've had a lot of issues, less now, about pleasing women. And all a woman has to do is just project a need at me for something, and I'll instantly fulfil it without even asking her like, what it is, because I know what it is, I can feel it coming from her, and I just do it straight away. And I've done that all my life. Right? And, uh, and so, over the last nearly two years, I've been breaking through that and into these emotions of, no, is this a loving thing for me to be doing? And, and a lot of times it hasn't been, and the reason why I've been trying to do it is because I just want to please the woman. Right? I just want to get a nice emotion from her if she's being happy with me. And that's often meant that I've attracted a woman who's not happy with me unless I'm doing exactly what she wants. Does that make sense? And so then I've had to work through those emotions. Of, so I've had these feelings sometimes of Mary, this annoyance that she wants me to do things for me, that, that she wants to do, me to do things for her that she would not be willing to do for me. And I've had to work, I've had to, I've had to feel that emotion of, wow, you know, this is not right, this is unequal, you know, this is not the right thing for me to be doing. And then I've had to feel the emotion of, what is Mary going to do if I say no? You know, what, you know, I'm probably going to lose her, and I don't want to lose her, I only just met my soulmate after 45 years. Do you think I want to lose it? Of course not. And so I've had to work through all of that emotion of staying in truth, whether I lose Mary or not. And that's been really, really triggering for me, and I've had to work through quite a lot of emotions about that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, um, getting back to the anger though, the anger just is uh, amazing. What I find is mild irritant, mild annoyance, mild anything, covers a mountain of emotion. A mountain of emotion. So every time you cover over mild annoyance and mild irritation or mild frustration, you're actually denying for yourself an opportunity to deal with a mountain of 